Good morning, Mark D. Hutchison, the Ask Mark Realtor. I'm Mark D'Andre, the doctor of real estate. We're bringing you another real estate video. And Mark and I were talking before this uh, video, and we decided to talk about relationships and um, trust and loyalty. And Mark, uh, just what are your thoughts on the relationships and the information flow as it relates to anything home and their clients and family and customers? You know, Mark, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> um, we all try to develop relationships with neighbors, friends about real estate. There's, there's all kinds of misinformation going on out there. There's all kinds of information that might not apply to Franklin County or to our neighborhood. Um, I, We've been successful. Linda and I, <clears throat> excuse me, meet month. <clears throat> excuse me. Linda and I meet monthly with a group of uh, seven other residents in our uh, community. We do a brunch once a month. Uh, Linda does a a monthly or weekly coffee with the ladies, and we do things with to engage with neighbors and friends and relatives just to keep a rapport. We don't always talk about real estate. Uh, one of the Facebook pages I run, I post information and they respond back when they have questions about, do I, what do I do? How do I, how do I prepare my house to list? I'm thinking about this. I get it. I get a post on my Facebook page. I get a text. I get a phone call. I get an email. I've developed that rapport and that trust level that, that because I don't, call them 14 times like the other 9,500 realtors do. Uh, I, I respond to them when they have information. Otherwise, I present information and wait for them to com comment or to respond back to me direct. And that way I'm not I'm not forcing my, my stuff on them. Mark, that makes perfect sense. So you're developing these relationships. It's interesting to me that um, you know, you run a, a successful real estate business. I run a successful real estate business. We run a successful team here with Red One called the AMP team. And all of it, all, all, every step along the way is based upon these trusted relationships. And one of the monikers around here is uh, anything home. It's a trademark statement that I have. And uh, our agents on our team, you just captured it nicely. Our, our customers and family and clients and friends rely upon us for information about anything home. And you mentioned it earlier, you get texts and emails and Facebook posts about things that are related to their home, but have nothing to do with an actual transaction, which is not what we're in this business for anyway. Yes, it's how we earn a living. I'm not going to be disingenuous, but you know, we have clients that call us about, you know, roofing and, and electrical and plumbing issues and appliance issues and landscaping things and handyman issues and updates and rehabbing their homes and how to get their property taxes revised and what are the current interest rates and how many houses are selling and where and how quickly are they selling. And this is the kind of trusted information. And I say, I use that word on purpose, trusted information that our family and friends and clients can get from us because there is so much, as you mentioned earlier, coming at them, right? Postcards in the mail, emails that come out of nowhere, phone calls that come out of nowhere. Do you want to sell your house? And it's just, it gets overwhelming. And so I guess the theme that we're trying to get through on this particular video, guys, uh, is develop a, a trusted relationship with an agent who you'd like, know, and trust. Um, make that something that lasts a lifetime. The average person will buy and sell a house seven times in their life. So this is going to be someone you're going to be working with more than once. Is, is that kind of what we're talking about here? Pretty much right on target. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you having me on these videos every week, Mark. You started this, you came to me one day, gosh, it's been going on a year and a half or two years ago, said, hey, we, we should start talking to folks out there on the interweb and you invited me to these uh, these chats where I'm having coffee or water and we're just relaxed and trying to share some good information with people. Sometimes it has to do with real estate. Sometimes it doesn't. Thank you, Mark D. Hutchison, the Ask Mark Realtor, for having me on the call. Um, I really appreciate you. Appreciate you back, sir. All right, You've, man. Been, a, you've been a great comrade in this.
I appreciate it. Uh, I'm the doctor of real estate. That's the Ask Mark Realtor. Guys, if you like these videos, share them on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and every place else that you uh, that you activate yourself on the interweb. Mark, I'll see you next week. Have a great week. Hey, my Bruins won last night. We're 1-0 in the playoffs. Congratulations, Bruins. Way to go, Boston. <laughs> I love Boston. It's a great town, and it's a, great, it's a really good hockey team, and that's coming from a guy who's born and raised in Columbus. You know, sorry, Blue Jackets fans. We need to get competitive and start going after a cup, right? Yes. Have a great day, brother. Thanks.